What's up everyone, it's Edmund Lowe here and in this special video, I'm going to show you how to use Digistore24 to add your new digital product, create your funnel and start selling on this platform and even invite affiliates. Now, I think this is going to be a lengthy video and I'm going to do my best to be as elaborate as possible. So uh, just to give you guys a quick background, uh, I've been marketing online for several years, since 2005 in fact. And I've sold millions of dollars on various marketplace platforms like JVZoo, Warrior Plus, ClickBank, and quite a number to name. Uh, although I have to say that out of everything, I've been rather big on JVZoo. And I was one of the early adopters and the early users uh, way back in 2011 when JVZoo was very new. Uh, and, uh, it's a great platform. However, if you are also a JVZoo user, you're going to realize that uh, platforms like JVZoo and Warrior Plus to an extent, uh, it requires an integration with PayPal and Stripe for it to function. And if you don't have a PayPal account or you just refuse to use a PayPal account like me, uh, it's going to be mostly useless. So uh, it is because of that that I was forced to look for other alternatives. And it took me quite a long time to discover one, and you're looking at it right now, Digistore24. So as of the time of this video, I'm kind of surprised that not many vendors are actually aware of this marketplace. And I have to say that I am rather new to it myself. As you can see from this dashboard, I just made my first $352 selling my products over here. So yay, there's something going on over there, right? So uh, uh, this was about a month and a half ago when I was just exploring Digistore24 and I have to admit that it was quite a steep learning curve for me. It was kind of frustrating that I almost gave up at some parts, to be very honest with you. And uh, that's kind of why I'm compelled to do this video so that you can uh, avoid the mistakes and jump over some hoops uh, that uh, I was jumping over at a time and hopefully it won't take you as long. So that's kind of why I'm doing this video on a mission uh, to show you how to uh, not only add your products on uh, Digistore24, uh, how to get them approved uh, ASAP as well, all right? So if you are a digital product vendor like myself, uh, you wanna get affiliates, uh, but you don't wanna rely on PayPal at the same time, and even to an extent Stripe, uh, you wanna be uh, using a platform like this. It's something like ClickBank, by the way, where they accept credit and debit cards for you. And the cool thing about Digistore24 is that I know some vendors give me shit for this. They want to be like, oh, uh, PayPal is still the number one uh, payment processor around and all that, okay? Even though I may have my misgivings about it. Uh, but the cool thing about Digistore24 is that it's capable of receiving PayPal payments on your behalf and then pay you by wire. So even more good reasons to use Digistore24, right? Okay, so um, that's kind of why I'm doing this video for you guys, uh, to show you uh, how it's done. And uh, before I move on any further, uh, if you find this video to be beneficial, you think it's really awesome, I would appreciate that you like this video, uh, save it if you want to, and hey, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. So yeah, I'm saying the obligatory things of every YouTuber right now, okay? But hey, I also wanna gain traction on YouTube uh, if I'm giving valuable content, right? Okay, so uh, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel uh, so you can get more internet marketing uh, goodies like what you're seeing here right now. Okay, enough of self-promotion, let's uh, dive right into it. So if you're looking at my screen right now, <laughs> yeah, I've written a list of step-by-step uh, -step, and I've counted like 13 essential steps that we're gonna go through. And um, again, just be warned that this video is gonna be rather lengthy. And again, the reason why I'm doing that is because I wanna do everything in one shot. I'll add a timestamp afterwards. And uh, I just wanna make sure that this is as elaborate as possible for you guys and leave no stone unturned where possible, especially the important ones, all right? So um, to get started, um, obviously the natural thing you gotta do is to register for an account with Digistore24, okay? You gotta open an account, uh, it's free by the way. So just head over to digistore24.com and just sign up for an account and uh, you're in, all right? So I don't have to show you that part and uh, for the purpose of this entire uh, demonstration, I'm gonna be using my existing account. Yeah, I'm kinda lazy to open a brand new one. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that afterwards anyway. I'm just using one right now. And uh, anyways, this account is you know still fairly new. So uh, I'll indicate otherwise if there's something that's a little bit different to your account, okay? So uh, anyways, once you have opened your uh, Digistore24 account, uh, by the way, you wanna open as a vendor. So if you are selling digital products like me, you know, like eBooks, membership sites, courses, and all that, uh, make sure that you sign up as a vendor, uh, not as an affiliate, all right? Uh, if you're offered a choice to do be, to be both, then yeah, just choose both, okay? But most importantly, be a vendor, all right? Now, once you're in, uh, of course, the first thing you're gonna see that everything's gonna be, you know, 
a bunch of zeros. That was what I saw when this account was very new and I'm starting to make sales right now, but in your case, it's gonna be like zero across the dashboard. That's totally fine. And uh, let's just do a bit of house, uh, like house cleaning first before we go on with like creating your products and all that, all right? So first things first is that you wanna to go to your account setup uh, yeah, you might want to get used to like some some of these things over here. Like um, I know it sounds weird, business cockpit. <laughs> okay, uh, go to account and go to details. All right, so that'll bring you to a page like this. And uh, yeah, it's okay. I can show you my email address. Uh, there's nothing to hide here. I mean, this is already on my website to begin with. Um, yeah, this is not my real number, obviously. But in your case, you're gonna be putting your details, your email, your customer support email if it's different. Uh, put your support number and, and things like that. All right, and you scroll down. Okay, this is where you can change your password if you want to, but you should have done that when you're creating your account. Uh, language, English, obviously, unless it's otherwise. Uh, default currency, in my case, I'm putting US dollars. Now, the amount of currencies here are rather limited, but I'm just gonna go with USD because that's the uh, internationally recognized currency. Uh, choose your time zone. I'm fellow Malaysian, by the way, so I'm gonna choose the Kuala Lumpur Malaysian time, all right? Now I'm going to skip all the way down here because the rest are not so important. Now, here's the thing though, um, this is part called the reseller contracts. Um, on my dashboard is written contract concluded because all I did was that I just click on the link here and uh, basically just say I agree, all right? Uh, you're going to see things a little bit different over here, so make sure that uh, you do check it out. I'm not sure if you're the kind of person who read agreements. Uh, you can take a couple of minutes to do that, uh, but basically, if everything is fine by you, just click I agree on all these three reseller contracts, United States, United Kingdom, and Germany, and uh, off you go, all right? This thing takes a couple of minutes, I think way less than that, maybe less than a minute, do just that, and uh, don't forget to click save, all right? So you're pretty much done with the uh, particular account details, and uh, next thing we're gonna check out is the um, payouts, all right? So you go to account, and you go to payout account, all right? Um, this is totally up to you. There's no hard and fast rule over here. Uh, if you want to be paid like on the 7th of every month, 721, or uh, paid every weekly, it's totally up to you. But in my case, uh, I prefer to be paid bi-weekly at the moment, uh, given my uh, forecast sales volume. Uh, if you're not confident getting like a lot of sales or you're just like very new to this whole thing, it's okay to get paid once a month, all right? So I'm, I just choose somewhere in the middle, which is bi-weekly. Uh, payout threshold is totally up to you as well. I just put 200 here to be very frank. I'm not sure what to expect, all right? Uh, but do understand that uh, every time the amount is being wired to you, there's obviously gonna be some transaction fee going on. So if you're not expecting a lot of sales volume, then you might wanna not make this too often. You might wanna raise the threshold a little bit. Uh, but if you're expecting to be making a lot of sales all the time, then yeah, you can just pretty much put whatever amount you want over here, all right? Next up, active, obviously, yes. Uh, for sales and currencies, just check everything here. Check all the boxes. Uh, reseller, uh, just check whatever's available here. All right. Uh, I just check United States and United Kingdom. That will do for me. All right. Notify by email. So basically, whenever you get a uh, notification, this will go to your email address. All right. Uh, payout method. So this is the part where you put in your bank details. Now, obviously, you can't see mine because it's really marked out with asterisks. And uh, when you put in the first time, you can also put in the SWIFT code, all right? So, uh, yeah, you don't need me to teach you how to do this. You gotta know your own bank details, all right? Now, payout can be done in any currency, but I just choose US dollars in my case, all right? So, uh, click save and uh, we're done, all right? So far, so good, everything's simple, yeah? Okay, all right, so we're pretty much done with the first step and that's the account setup. That's a total of uh, 13 steps uh, uh, overall, yeah, it took me quite a while to compile this list before doing this video in one shot for you guys. So as far as account setup goes, I'm just gonna mark this with an X over here to know that, hey, we're done with the first step, all right? Now, we're gonna go on to the second step, all right? We're not gonna create any product just yet on this uh, marketplace platform. Uh, what we need to do is that we need to prepare our sales pages first. So before you watch this video, uh, you gotta make sure that your uh, digital product is ready your sales page is ready and so is your thank you page as well. So it just seems that uh, coincidental that I have a product or rather a funnel that I am going to be adding to Digistore24 right about now. Hence the reason why you're seeing this video right now, okay? So there are a couple of things that you wanna do on your sales page and uh, I wanna start off with the front end offer which is the first offer, okay? So uh, as of the time of this video, I am planning to do an online workshop or rather an online event, which is gonna be happening very soon anyway, all right? So uh, let me just go through this real quick. What we wanna do is that we're gonna add a trust batch onto the um, sales letter, 
All right, so let me just show you my sales letter real quick. Uh, I am using a page builder called Optimize Press. Uh, you don't have to use the same page builder as me, although I think it's really, really awesome. Uh, but I do understand that everyone is using different types of page builders. Some people are using ClickFunnels, some people use um, Katra, Kajabi, whatever. All right, uh, you do you. Okay, so in my case, I use Optimize Press and uh, yeah, again, make sure that you have done all your sales pages. Otherwise, this whole video will not make sense. Okay, make sure you have done your sales pages for all your offers that's, that you're going to put in and do all your thank you pages as well. So mine is all done. I'm going to show you uh, how uh, what we're going to do next. All right. Now, um, before I get too carried away, the first thing that we're going to need to add is this thing called the trust batch. So if you are familiar with ClickBank, um, there's always this hater at the top. Uh, we say something along the lines of like uh, Digistore24 or, or ClickBank or, or, or whatever, all right? So in this case, it's Digistore24, we need to add a trust batch. So in your account, what you need to do is that you need to go to uh, account, click on conversion tools, and then there's this thing called trust badges. You want to click on that, all right? Now, I already created my trust badges over here, but in your case, you're going to see nothing over here. So let's just create one from scratch as an example, all right? I'm going to just click uh, create trust batch. Um, you can give it any name you want. I'm just going to call it uh, sales page, although I'm not going to actually do it because I already did it, all right? I'm just going to call it sales page batch. Uh, feel free to call it any name you want. Uh, there are two types, right? Sales page batch and thank you page batch, all right? So in this case, sales page batch. We're going to create one batch here at the moment, all right? Uh, position, let's choose the top bar. Even though you can put at other sides of the screen, but the top still works the best, all right? If you put it anywhere else, I think it's kind of weird, all right? Let's go for top. Uh, fix at the edge of the screen. Let's put yes. Okay. Uh, if you don't want it, you can just put no. It's up to you, right? But I, I will just put yes in my case. All right. Uh, the color scheme is totally up to you. Uh, I'll just like to leave it as standard and, and light. I'll just leave it be. All right. Okay. Uh, show earnings disclaimer. Now this is totally up to you, uh, depending on what kind of product you're selling. So if you are like me, you're in the make money online niche, or biz op niche, and all that, then showing earnings disclaimer is kind of important. In fact, it says it's compulsory for. Uh, financial and investment products in the USA. Now, if you're selling th other things like, you know, dating, um, health supplements and all that, then nah, you don't need this, okay? Um, but in my case, I need it, so I'm gonna put yes. Language, English, uh, vendor name. Um, for me, it's by default my company name called Musemancer, right? But if your name is gonna be something else, you can just put it over here. And uh, once you're done, just click on save and update preview. Okay, so it's gonna look something like this. Okay. It's gonna look something like this. You see this um, preview at the top here? So that's what it's gonna look like, all right? And uh, once you've created that, you're gonna get this uh, piece of HTML code. We're gonna click on that. And you can see that it's copied to clipboard already. Now I'm gonna go back to my uh, front end sales letter. So this is my sales letter on my online workshop. And uh, since I'm using Optimize Press, what I need to do is that I need to get into the page script and I need to put it at the header, all right? So in my case, I'm just gonna go to page scripts and uh, I'm gonna put it at the, the header, all right? So uh, there we go. And I'm gonna click save. So again, this part might be a little bit different for you uh, if you're using other types of page builder. So you can't use this like, you know, feature for feature. So I'm gonna preview my website right now. As you can see, let me stop that video for a while. Okay, all right, do you see that header at the top? Yeah, so that's what a trust batch does, all right? So this is a requirement by Digistore24, but you know, if you're using ClickBank, it's a very similar process, all right? And do you see something interesting at the bottom here as well? This uh, earnings disclaimer, it will show up at the bottom too, all right? So for me, it's mandatory. Again, if you are selling something else that's nothing to do with make money online and all that, uh, you don't need that, okay? Uh, I'm talking about that uh, footer, no. Okay, so great. Now, here's the thing though. I need to do the same thing for even my upsell pages. So if you're doing one-time offers, you gotta do that as well. So uh, as you can see here, I pretty much have, uh, yeah, I've done it already. So let me just do a real quick one. So in this case, I've got a front-end offer and I've got two one-time offers. So I'm just gonna do this part real quick. And uh, there we go, all right? So yeah, so we've already added a trust batch, great. Now, I feel that it's really important to mention this as well uh, because this was the part where I got stuck when uh, I was getting my products to be approved by Digistore24 and this was the result of uh, me going back and forth a lot, bouncing around and it was kind of frustrating and remember the part I said I almost want to give up? Uh, it was because of this part. Now, I cannot speak about other niches because I've been in the make money online niche for this particular products, uh, but to help you save some trouble, of going too much back and forth and they tell you to fix your sales letter and all that, 
a few things that kind of like got in the way were this practice of price slashing. All right, so let me just show you an example of a price slash that you typically see. So if you see this part here, uh, normally $497 and then price slash today only $17. Now, the thing about Digistore24, they don't like that practice. So, uh, but what you can do is that you can reward it somehow, something like uh, total value of like $20,000 or something like that. I, I know it's a bit weird saying that actually, uh, or let me find a way to rephrase that choice of words, but basically they don't like this fake price slashing, okay? But if you can prove it that uh, it really used to be sold at this price, then they're okay with it. So, uh, but in this case, I don't want to screw around with the, the approval process, so I'm just going to delete this at the moment, all right? So you see it's normally 997, uh, they don't like that, right? So I'm going to just uh, remove that and just put, yeah, exactly the price. So um, just to let you know that Digital24, they don't like that and they actually have an actual human being who goes through your sales letter, they will watch your sales video from beginning to end, um, they will go to your thank you page, they will try to download products and things like that. So uh, the people behind it are quite thorough. So I think it's best not to play any like funny games with them, all right? So just let you know that the price slashing is a practice that they don't quite like. So uh, we're gonna put that out of the way. Now, the next thing you gotta watch out for is this thing called uh, the money back guarantee. So typically before getting on Digisource 24, my money back guarantee is usually 30 days. So you, you know, if you're like me, 30 days is quite a standard, uh, but they don't want that. They want it to be at least 60 days and above. So in my case, uh, I'm gonna just remove that. They don't quite like this, by the way. I'm just put 60 days, so I kind of know that already. Okay, so your guarantee has stuff for at least 60 days and above. So you do 60, 90, 180 days, that's totally fine, all right? Uh, it can't be any less than that. So no 30, no 45, then God forbid 14 days even. So they don't want that. It has to be a 60 and above, all right? So I, I know I'm kind of like going over that again and again, uh, but it's kind of a reminder to myself because I like to do everything at 30 days. Okay, so uh, that will be one of the reasons why uh, my products keep getting rejected at a time because they wanted it to be 60, all right? Uh, and another thing is that you wanna be careful with your income disclaimers. Now, this is the part where um, some people may struggle with that, but for me, uh, I seem to gloss over this part quite fine, but that is because I can back up everything that I share over here. So guys, uh, Digistore24 doesn't like scammers and, and hypesters, all right? So make sure that whatever income claims you're putting here, like for example, my first sale, okay, you can't, you can't fake this one, all right? This is really my first sale and I can prove it, all right? So sometimes they might ask you for some double confirmation, like did you really make this money? Uh, did your client really make that? Uh, and uh, things like that. So again, if all these are true, then you have got nothing to hide, all right? Um, so this kind of like, just be careful not to overhype things up because Digistore24, they, they wanna make sure that uh, they are operating things in a very clean way as possible. So uh, let's respect that and let's not turn the marketplace into like some shit dumpster, okay? Uh, and by the way, I'm just gonna call it D24 from now on because every time I say DG Store 24, it's like how many syllables is that? DG Store 24, six syllables. No wonder I'm like speeding it up, all right? I'm just gonna call it D24 moving forward, okay? All right, so uh, those are the few things that you wanna watch out for. And uh, if you are going through a, a tedious approval process with uh, D24, uh, just bear with it, it's gonna be worthwhile. Uh, I have to admit that initially, I wanted to give up because there was just a lot of like, you know, ping pong going about, and uh, but because I was pressed by my issue of not, I just refused to use PayPal, basically, all right? After what has happened to my accounts a couple of years ago, and uh, of course, I wanna continue being in business. So D24 is one of the, the great solutions I've come across in a long time. Uh, of course, not everything is a bit of roses, that's gonna be pros and cons, uh, but, D24 comes the closest, all right? And uh, along the way, I'll explain to you some like the great things about using D24, uh, some things to look up for as well, and this is one of them, all right? So uh, be careful not to overhype your stuff, uh, make sure it's 60 day guarantee, and uh, don't use price slashing, they don't quite like that, all right? So with that said, okay, I think these are some of the few key things to look out for. Uh, it's not only the front end sales letter, by the way, but basically on all of your sales letters, okay? So we got this out of the way. We have already prepared the sales pages. The next thing we need to prepare is our thank you page, all right? So that's where your downloads are, okay? So on the thank you page, you also need to add a trust batch, but this trust batch is a little bit different from the one I just added. So let's go back there again, all right? We're gonna go to the account. We're gonna go to conversion tools, and uh, let's head down to trust batch again and uh, let's create a trust batch, all right? So you can call it whatever you want. I'm just gonna call it TQ page batch, all right? 
the type. Thank you, page. Position top bar, fixed at the edge of the screen, yes or no. Totally up to you, by the way. I'm just going to leave it as yes. Okay, color scheme, standard, light. I'm just going to leave it alone. But if you're, if you're feeling a little bit funky, you want to change it a little bit, that's totally up to you. I mean, I don't think this is going to like affect your conversions, all right? Uh, color scheme, again, it's up to you. Uh, income disclaimer, again, compulsory if you are in the make money online on a biz op niche like me, all right? So yes, for, for me, right? Uh, vendor name, yeah, I'm just going to leave it alone and click save and update preview. So I'm going to show you what mine looks like over here. And there you go, all right? Now, just like the sales page, we are required to paste the HTML code into the header of those thank you pages, all right? So again, I've got a Friday offer. I've got two one-time offers, so I have a total of three uh, thank you pages that I need to put this on, all right? So let me just do a quick one right now. In fact, I think I already did it just now, right before this uh, video started. Uh, yeah, let me just do it for completion sake, all right? By the way, if any of you are watching this video hoping to spy on my download pages, I'm gonna be changing them soon anyway, all right? So, <laughs> all right, so let me just show you an example of what one of the thank you page looks like. All right, so yeah, you can see here that the the header is up there and uh, this earnings screen is at the bottom here as well. Okay, so there we go. All right, so we've already added that. And uh, one more thing I need to mention as well is that you need to have a mention of this word. Uh, debiting is performed by Digistore24. You need to add that line, all right? So that was also one of the reasons why I had a headache of getting the, the products approved is because they were like pointing out the, you know, the they actually look at every hook and, and cranny, so that, that's kind of pissed me off actually. But uh, again, I hope this saves you quite some trouble. Make sure that you add this line on all your download pages. That everything is performed by Digistore24. Okay, so I hope this part helps. All right, and uh, oh yes, one more important thing. Okay, uh, you're gonna thank me later. Okay, so I'm gonna prepare this to you in advance. Right, I wanna prepare you for this. Uh, I want you to create one. Uh, catch all thank you page if I can call it that all right so this is what I call a catch all thank you page where basically after people go through your funnel uh, the final upsell or the final downsell they will arrive at this page called um, how to access your downloads all right um, the links are going to be given in the Digistore24 email receipt and the debiting is performed by Digistore24 all right so why this is important is because uh, unlike JVZoo or even Warrior Plus for that matter, there is no customer portal for people to go to. And this was the one that got me around in circles for a long time, all right? I, you can say that I practically wasted, I think, a week and a half figuring this part out. And only to realize it's actually that simple, all right? So the way Digistore24 works in terms of sending the content to your customers or the products to your customers is that uh, for every product that they buy from you from the front end to any of the upsells or all of the upsells is that they receive an email uh, for each of the products that they bought, all right? So one of the struggles in uh, delivering the content for to your customers that you do not know what kind of combination of products that they have bought, all right? What if the person bought a front end, skip the one-time offer, uh, but bought the downsell, skip OTO2, and then uh, bought OTO3. So you can see that there's quite a few combinations going on, all right? So how do you deliver the correct combinations to each of the customers? So what I did is that I just created this catch all thank you page, all right, and this will always be the final thank you page uh, at the end of the funnel for D24, all right? And uh, I basically just tell them to get access to all the products you have purchased, check your inbox for an email from Digital24 support with the subject line, this. Let me just underline that, okay? There we go. And uh, yeah, the email looks pretty much something like that. And the thing is that every one of your customer will get an email like this with some kind of scrambled uh, address uh, to download the product. All right, so that's how it works. And uh, yeah, it's actually as simple as that, all right? And this was what got me like around circles for like a week and a half, okay? <laughs> yeah, so if any of you are like trying to figure out how Digistore 24 works and maybe you are a vendor from JVZoo, Warrior Plus, like me before, uh, I can understand why some things may be a bit confusing to you because they're not the same platform, all right? So I hope this helps. And uh, for added measure, you also want to add the trust batch to uh, this page as well, all right? So. Yeah, I, I've added that already, so let me just uh, check it out. By the way, this is not where you put your downloads, okay? Don't put any download access over here. It's just basically an instruction to tell people, hey, thanks for buying from me. Go check your email right now. That's where your downloads are, all right? Simple as that, okay? You, you thank me later. <laughs> okay, so now that we got that out of the way, okay, 
Uh, the next thing we're going to do is that we're going to configure the order form, all right? And um, thankfully, this is just a one-off work. You don't actually have to keep doing it, uh, but this is going to be really important afterwards when you start uh, adding new products. Uh, and the great thing about this order form is that you can actually customize it. So what we're going to do right now is that, yeah, you can see I basically just use one order form and uh, all my products are using the same order form, all right? So uh, what you can do is that you can create any of these order forms i think mine is called a responsive order form you can just click on this one all right create responsive order form and you can actually just drag and drop uh, any of the components over here uh, i would say that for the most parts you can just make do with this you know with what you're seeing over here but if you like to just like drop drag and drop a little bit yeah you can go ahead all right um, i'm not gonna make this because i've already created my order form in fact let me just show you what i did okay um, I just call this order MM. Um, it's just a name I came up with. So this is what the order form looks like in terms of the uh, arrangement as a header, shopping cart, payment plan, uh, confirmation of web withdrawal, custom form, contact details and payment method, security seal, legal information. I think I didn't change anything. I think it's all the same. <laughs> all right. No, I don't think I changed anything. But if you want to preview it, you can click on that. All right. Uh, yeah, I just choose one of the products I have right now and you can just like take a look at what it looks like So every time someone buys a product uh, or about a checkout from your uh, sales page They go to the checkout form. This is what it looks like, all right? So yeah Okay So you can play mix a uh, like um, Mix and match uh, play around a little bit, but I think I didn't change anything here to be very frank it Looks very standard and uh, that's pretty much all you need to do. You don't have to be very fancy about it All right, but once you do uh, click save and you will have this uh, order form over here but bear in mind that right now you don't have any products whatsoever and that's what we're going to do next all right so we have basically just created the uh order form okay now this is where the real uh the meat and potatoes come in we're going to start adding a product okay um uh, we'll start off with the free uh not, not free uh, scratch that front end offer so fe front end offer we're going to start with that all right so what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to go to the account I'm gonna go down to products. And if your account is brand new, you're not gonna see anything here whatsoever. So you can see I have pretty much did quite some work in this account for um, the last one and a half months, you know, knocking my head around and things like that. Um, if your account is brand new, you're not gonna see anything here. In fact, I think it's gonna be the default, you know, without any group whatsoever. And the cool thing about adding products here is that you can start grouping them into any groups that you want. And I'm gonna start creating a group right now uh, for this thing. I'm just gonna call this, uh, whoops, hang on. All right. If you wanna start creating a, a group, you just go to uh, edit product group. Let's go to create a new one right now. I'm just gonna call this uh, events, all right, events. Um, just to demonstrate to you now do i actually have to do that nah not really all right let's go events and uh, let's just pretend that this account is brand new that's like totally nothing here whatsoever okay what i'm gonna do is gonna click add product and uh, let's make the first one okay so i'm gonna call this uh, dbw business ticket so that's the name of my upcoming online workshop all right language in english unless it's otherwise all right Product name for customer. Now, you can pretty much leave this alone because product name and product name for customer, they're like the same thing, okay? I'm gonna leave that alone. Uh, next one, product type. I'm gonna choose the most appropriate one. I'm gonna put, uh, let's see, seminar for business clients. Okay, I think that's the, probably the most uh, appropriate one. Uh, seminar for business clients because mine's actually a webinar. Is that a webinar? Oh, great, that's actually a webinar. So I'm gonna choose webinar in my case, that that's what it is, all right? So make sure that you choose the, the, the most appropriate category for your product type, all right? Mine is a webinar, all right? Next up, uh, service period, you can leave that alone. Uh, product group, um, let's just put that in events, the, the group that we just created just now, all right? Uh, no and tag, uh, you can just skip out of this, all right? I think it's just a fancy mancy stuff. You don't need that, all right? Now, if you're planning to recruit affiliates to promote your product, this is where you want to start setting the commissions. And um, I'm just going to put mine 50% right now, all right? Uh, now, nah, I think I'll be a little bit generous. I'll just put 75. Okay, I'll just put 75. Now, it's totally up to you, uh, but I recommend anything 50% and above, especially if it's a digital offer, all right? Uh, automatically accept affiliates. I'm just gonna put no in this case. Um, just recalling my bad experience when I'm on Warrior Plus and JVZoo where, you know, if people start looking up your products randomly and, you know, some of them are really fraudulent affiliates. Now, 
Um, disclaimer, I am still new to D24, so I'm not sure whether that behavior is still the same over here. But right now, I would prefer to screen all my affiliates manually. So uh, I recommend that you do the same thing for yourself as well. All right, screen all your affiliates manually because you don't know uh, there could be some fraudulent people, especially when it's just too good to be true. All right, next up, okay. Um, Sales page, okay, I think it's a very straightforward one. You need to put in the sales page URL or the sales page address. So in my case, uh, I'm gonna put my sales page address. Uh, let me just hang on for a while. Oh, a lot of these things are open here. Okay, okay, uh, sales page address, there we go. Okay, uh, thank you page that we have. <laughs> Shall I show you my thank you page? <laughs> yeah, you know, what? I'm gonna change that later anyway. Oh, you know, I'm just gonna put this here right now. Okay. Uh, because later I do like some blurring and all that. I'm just gonna put this here at the moment. Okay. Yeah, I'm just making that up right now. <laughs> okay. Um, now next, but second thank you page here. You don't need that, all right? And uh, you don't need an upsell page because this is the uh, front end offer. So I don't need an upsell page for this, all right? Uh, encrypt data. Uh, I'm just gonna put, uh, I'm just gonna put yes, all right? Yes, encrypt personal data. Uh, append order, I'm just gonna put no. Okay. So now, approval by all this, you don't need to put anything just yet because this product is being created at the moment. Uh, active, yeah, I'm just gonna put active. Um, default affiliate, let's skip that because this uh, this is still brand new, all right? And uh, now, later you're gonna need to get this uh, link to the order form so it's not created just yet, all right? So it only be created after I save this product, all right? Now, next up, product description for the invoice. So the product name above is used by default. Yeah, we'll just leave that alone. Uh, manufacturer logo. So if your account is brand new and you don't have a logo here and you have a company logo, this is where you're gonna put it, all right? Uh, mine is already here, this is my company logo, I'm gonna leave, leave that be. And uh, set as default, yeah, definitely, all right? It'll be used for all the products, that's what I want, okay? Next up, uh, sales limits, upgrade, downgrade, downsell, I'm just gonna leave it alone, can be bought individually, all right? Sales start at, okay, now if you're planning to launch this at a later date, you can uh, change the calendar how you want. Uh, but in the interest of showing you how this works, I'm gonna make this rather immediate, all right? So I'm gonna just put, yeah, whatever the time is right now. Okay, whatever, okay? <laughs> so, uh, and by the way, this is according to your time zone that you have set. So in my case, I'm Malaysian. Uh, I put a Kuala Lumpur time zone. So this is actually in my local time zone, all right? So if you're on Warrior Plus I, or, or, or JVZoo, they'll probably put it like uh, Warrior Plus. Uh, sorry, JVZoo would be uh, Eastern time and Warrior Plus would probably be Central time if I'm not mistaken, all right? So anyways, this is gonna be following your local time zone. All right, um, then this two you can pretty much skip out. In fact, I would say you can skip out on everything over here. You can leave all of this alone unless you have a special reason to do something different, all right? But for me, I'm just gonna leave this whole entire section alone. You don't need to do anything. Uh, buyer may change quantity, nah, you don't need that, all right? So you can pretty much leave all of this alone and now let's click save. All right, so now that we have saved this, uh, you can see that we have already got the uh, uh, link to the order form, which we're gonna, this is gonna be important afterwards, all right? Uh, but just letting you know that this product has been created and what we're gonna do right now is that, uh, let me just see what's this. Product name, if uh, DB, uh, please check. Ah, okay, it's just a little warning, yeah, nothing. Okay, so now, have you noticed that there's some more sub tabs at the top here and uh, we're gonna go through them one by one. So let's go to the order form, all right? So first thing you can see here is that, okay, you gotta put a product image and uh, if you have an image for your product, let's put in, okay? So if your account is brand new, you're not gonna see any of this and uh, I'm gonna click upload image and I'm gonna put one of the uh, ticket pictures over here. So yeah, I've got a cover for this ready to go. I'm gonna click upload and uh, select that, all right? Okay, this is what I want. I'm gonna click okay and it shows up over here. Now, product description for the order form. So you don't have to put in a fancy mancy description. Just I'm just gonna call it a digital business uh, workshop um, business class ticket. Yeah, you just keep it simple, all right? So I've got two tiers for this actually. It's a business class and the other one would be a presidential, but I'm just doing one for you as an example, all right? Uh, product description for confirmation page. I normally tend to leave this alone, so it will just reuse what's written up here. All right, I'm just leave this alone. Uh, technical support, you can put in your email, and if you have a phone number, you can put in here as well. But in this case, I'm just gonna leave it alone. 
All right, uh, usage instructions, uh, for me, it's quite straightforward. I'm not gonna put anything here, but maybe if you're selling software, uh, maybe you wanna put something over here. So it's totally up to you, all right? Uh, next one, order form. So remember, we created an order form just now. So it should be selectable over here. So there's one order form, let's use that. Uh, next up, social proof bubble. Um, now this can be quite good if you are expecting to get like a lot of sales. Uh, in my case, I don't want to activate just yet. I guess uh, when uh, it starts picking up momentum, I will. So it's kind of like proofly in a way where you have that uh, little thing appearing at the bottom left or the bottom right that says like, you know, John has just bought the uh, digital business workshop ticket or something like that, okay? Now, I would say that I will leave all of this alone. There's just no reason for me to uh, mess around with all of this. I'm just gonna leave it alone, okay? Ask for solicitation, I'm just gonna put never. I mean, yeah, you know, if you ask for solicitation, like, you know, Mr. Miss Doctor, yeah, you don't need that. I'm just gonna put never, okay? I don't need to know that, all right? Uh, ask for company, uh, I'm just gonna leave this alone uh, because I'm dealing with potentially business owners. Some people may wanna buy under a company rather than their personal name, so I'm gonna put yes. Uh, company, it optional. I think it's a typo from them, <laughs> okay? Uh, company is optional, okay? Next up, uh, I'm gonna leave all this alone. Like, I'm not gonna touch any of this at all. I'll leave that alone, right? I'm gonna click save and we're good to go. All right, so we already have the order form. The next thing we're gonna take a look at is payment plan. So we haven't set a price for this thing just yet. We need to set it right now, okay? So payment plans, okay, currency US dollars. Uh, all prices are, yeah, yeah, you can leave all of this alone unless otherwise you can show VAT on the order form. I think in my case, I'm gonna just put no, I don't need that, all right? Uh, payment method. Uh, you can just pretty much leave all of this alone. Yeah, like I said just now, it's quite cool that uh, Digistore24 can accept PayPal on your behalf. So if any of you are worried about, okay, if I don't have a PayPal account, I can't receive PayPal payments from other people, and still like the number one process and all that, uh, you don't have to worry because with uh, Digistore24, it can receive PayPal payments on your behalf and you get paid by wire, all right? So that's cool part. So I would say I'm just gonna choose all of them except for Sazzle, I don't know what that is. Uh, I don't think I... Yeah, you know, I'm just gonna choose all, <laughs> okay? Yeah, all, all right? And uh, yeah, and uh, click save. All right, now in my case, I already have a payment plan over here, but in your uh, account, it's probably like nothing whatsoever. Uh, you just create one. Uh, in my case, I will put currency, US dollars. Uh, in fact, mine is $17, all right? So you have to change it to, to whatever price you want. My case is 17 bucks. Uh, single payment, you can make it subscription if you want to or installment plan, but I don't have a need for that. I'm just gonna put single payment of $17. Uh, there's no discount whatsoever. Uh, the order of the formula, you just leave it at 10, all right? Active, yes, this plan is available for all sales types and uh, skip out all, all this, all right? I'm gonna click update payment plan and there we go. You can see that the price is now $17. Let me just zoom in a little bit for you. It's now $17, okay? So there we go. Now, if your account is brand new, you may have to like add your own payment plan for, from scratch, but I think it's very intuitive. Uh, you, you don't need a lot of explanation for that, all right? So next up, conversion cockpit and upsells. Uh, okay, I think it's a little bit too early to play around with this just yet because we haven't created the one-time offer uh, and one-time offer too. We haven't done that just yet. Uh, but you know what? Uh, I mean, since we're here, uh, let's just go to settings right off the bat. So conversion cockpit, settings, and uh, avoid double purchases. Uh, now, if you click yes, what's gonna happen is that uh, people cannot buy this again, all right? And uh, this could be true for especially one-time offers of uh, upsells and downsells, but since this is a front end offer, I'm just gonna put no in this case, all right? In fact, I think it's better just put no, okay? Uh, encrypt data, we just put yes. Encrypt personal data. After the upsell, direct buys to a custom URL, and this is where I'm gonna put this uh, particular page, all right? The catch all thank you page, all right? Now this is really important. Let me try to go back there, all right? Yeah, it's okay for you to know this address, I don't care, because there's no like download whatsoever, all right? So this is gonna be the catch all page, so by the time people get to the very end of the funnel, they will see this page, all right? And uh, the downloads are accessible by the email where the customers have bought it from, all right? So as for the rest, we're gonna leave all of this alone and click save. There we go, all right? Now, this is gonna be important afterwards. We will revisit this step later after we have created one-time offer one and one-time offer two, all right? Next up, let's go to add-ons, okay? Uh, I think this is not important. Uh, okay, now, add-on is basically a bump offer. 
Uh, in this particular example, I don't have any bump offer to show, so I'm gonna skip this part, all right? But if you are, you wanna have a bump offer, as in like, hey, do you wanna add this for like an extra like 20, 30 bucks whatsoever? Uh, this is where add-ons come in, all right? So it basically means bump, all right? Uh, next up, deliver, all right? So now if you are sending a PDF document, downloads, uh, whatsoever, it's gonna be here, but uh, yeah, you don't, you, you don't need this. In fact, the download page has already been configured all the way back in properties, the step that we had just started off just now, all right? In fact, I would say that for deliver, e-tickets, and variants, uh, you can pretty much skip out on this. You don't really need to do anything over here. So again, uh, deliver, e-tickets, variants, forget about it, you, you can skip it, all right? Next up, notifications. Uh, so whenever you get a notification about your sale, refunds, whatsoever, it goes to your email address. So for me, I'm gonna, I might as well just do it right now, okay? Yeah, I'm just gonna do it right now. Yeah, just basically like fill in everything over here, all right? Now, I don't expect any like that collection, so I'm just gonna like leave this empty, all right? Okay, send if sold as an add-on, I'm gonna just put all, all right? And I'm just click save. Okay, now the good thing about this step is that it actually saves time. So you have like any other products that you just wanna like change the email address, you can just click on copy the settings to all of the other products. But uh, I'm not gonna do that because um, they're all using the same settings anyway, all right? And uh, well, we pretty much come to the, the end of this uh, uh, product creation, all right? So you're gonna start inviting affiliates, you can use um, this link. I'm not gonna talk about it right now, I'll talk towards the end of this video, all right? So as far as creating this product goes, uh, we've already created the front end. So let's take a look back, right? Let's go to like at the top here, products. Let's go to events. That's where we, we just started. And uh, you can see that we have already created one product over here. All right. Um, I'm not gonna request for approval just yet because we still have a one-time offer and a second one-time offer to start adding. So I tell you what, let's do those right now. Let's see, do we have to do anything? Yeah, we need to get a buy link. In fact, you know what? Let's go do a buy link at the moment, all right? And add it to the sales page. So where do we get the buy link, all right? So let's go to um, edit. And uh, if you scroll down, you're gonna see that there's this link to order form. Let's gonna uh, copy that, all right? And I'm gonna go to my uh, page editor for my front end sales letter, all right? Again, I use Optimize Press. Uh, you might be using a different page builder, that's okay. So what I'm gonna do right now is that I'm gonna scroll all the way down to the, uh, my order form here. I'm gonna add a button, all right? Let's see what nice buttons we got over here. All right, I'll just use one of them real quick, all right? I mean, it's nothing too serious, okay? I'm gonna put a link here and uh, there we go. So we got a link over here and uh, let me just add something else here, all right? Let me make it a nice button, okay? What if it's 100%? And uh, icon, yeah, don't mind me. I'm just going to add to cart, all right? Yeah, I'll change, change the icon as well, all right? Let me just change the icon, let me just do a cart. Yeah, what, what if black color looks nice? I think black color looks good on this. Ah, there we go, all right. Okay, uh, something feels naked though. Oh yeah, let's add some, uh, Trust badges. Yeah, don't mind me again. I mean, this is just one of some of the cool features of using an optimized press page builder. Uh, is this the one? Oh, not not right. I think it's called cards. There we go. And. Uh, I mean, since this accepts PayPal, so yeah, that, that that's a curate. All right, so we have just added uh, our first buy button. Now, in this case, I'm actually offering two front end offers. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna make a copy for this one over here, all right? So I'm gonna go back to um, the Digistore24 uh, panel, all right? The business cockpit, <laughs> okay? All right, uh, actually to be exact, it's actually account and, and products, all right? So now, if you wanna like create the whole thing all over again, yeah, it's gonna take time. So what I like to do is that I just like to take this product that we already have here right now, click on the three, but the, the three dots, 
and click copy product all right so let's go okay so this way i just duplicate the product without actually having to go through the entire steps again uh that's a great time saver so this time i'm going to call it uh this is also another front end offer by the way i'm going to call it the uh, presidential uh ticket i mean that's the name i came out with anyway all right so product name for a customer you can see it's just called copy let's remove that okay and i think i can pretty much leave everything else alone Okay, I can leave all of this alone. The sales page is still the same. Um, thank you page, yeah, it's not the same one, but yeah, I just put a, a random address over here right now because I don't want you guys spying, all right? Okay, so I don't have to change anything around here, all right, but we got a order form, all right? Let's copy this, okay? We, we, we copy this and uh, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna save this first, all right? Let me just save this first. Okay, now let's go to the order form. Yeah, you can see that I'm pr pretty much backtracking uh, the whole thing where uh, even though we copied this product, but we still need to make some changes. Okay, so since this is another tier of a ticket, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to change the cover. All right. But it's kind of good that you're going through this with me so that, uh, you know, it becomes practice, by the way. Uh, that was how I got to get used to D24 or even like any other platforms that, you know, when I'm learning for the first time. All right. Uh, the more... I practice I get the better it is so in this case it's a presidential uh, class ticket sounds quite glamorous and it really is okay uh, you can pretty much skip out on the rest it's all the same uh, payment plans now of course this is priced differently the ticket just now was $17 this is $97 so what I'm gonna do is that instead of me adding another payment plan I'm gonna just edit what already exists down here so you scroll all the way down click on the edit icon which is the pencil and uh, instead of $17 I'm going to call it $97 all right update the payment plan and uh, there we go so let me just zoom this in for you you can see that it's 97 US dollars so it's, it's different okay and uh, let's go to conversion copy and upsells okay that's what it is now we don't want to change anything here right now i think so far it's so good and if you remember what i said just now add-ons deliver e-tickets and uh, variants we're going to leave them alone uh in fact even for notifications as well it's pretty much good to go so we don't actually have to do uh, anything else for this product we are pretty much done uh, let's get this link to the order form and uh, let's paste it here as well all right let me just clone this button move it here There we go. There we go. All right. Yeah, maybe I'll just call it add to cut $17 and uh, maybe a little bit more obvious add to cut $97. How does that work? All right. I might change it a little bit afterwards, but maybe for the purpose of this video, it makes it a little bit more obvious to you. So why don't we take a preview on this page and uh, check out the order form? All right. Uh, let's see whether it's correct or not. All right. Yeah, let me just stop this video for a while. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna scroll all the way down to the uh, um, uh, payment plans here. So you got seventeen dollars here and ninety-seven dollars. So uh, let's check out, make sure that this really works. I'm gonna click on this one and uh, let's test out the link. All right. So you can see that it's pretty much correct. You know, it's seventeen dollars. Uh, DBW business ticket. And if you're seeing this uh, warning icon over here, basically which tells you that the product is not being able to be sold just yet. Before you start selling, you need to submit a product for approval. Okay, fair enough. We're going to do that afterwards. Okay. Now let's go and test out the other button. Ninety-seven dollars. Okay, great. Let's go check it out. And it's correct. All right. Now what's interesting is that afterwards we're going to do a test payment over here. Uh, you don't need to do like you know take out a credit card or anything like that. Uh, we're going to do that afterwards and it makes testing very convenient so this is going to be one of the latest steps or towards the end all right so right now we have already created the uh, product or products for the front end offer so we created a group for them we've got the buy links and we're going to repeat the process with the first one-time offer all right so let me just show you my, what my first one-time offer is about in this case it's a uh, fire sale bundle i'm selling this for like uh how much is that? I think it's $97 as well, all right? So 
again i just want to give you a reminder a heads up you know uh d24 doesn't like this whole like the price slashing kind of thing and uh admittedly i just lifted this from one of my uh previous sales pages which is okay on jvzoo and anywhere else all right but on d24 they don't like it so maybe i'll just uh remove this line right now all right just want to be compliant at the moment uh will i make some changes afterwards and that remains to be seen okay so right now what was going to happen is that uh, i've got my sales page ready for OTO one, OTO means one time offer, one, all right? Uh, what I'm gonna do right now is that I'm gonna go back to products and I'm gonna create another product here, all right? So let's go back to events and uh, yeah, I'm being lazy. Let's just go and copy this again, all right? Let's go and copy it. Yeah, it's taking a while. Okay, so this is my OTO one. Uh, it's called Massive Fire Cell Bundle. Uh, that's the name of the offer, all right? Let me remove that. Um, now, the product type is clearly different. It's actually a download or other downloads than software. All right, so that's what it actually is. Okay, now, uh, in this case, I'm not feeling that generous. I'm gonna put 50% over here. Um, and that, that's what I wanna pay. All right, let me put the link to the, uh, what it call the, uh, let me just remove this for a while. Clear out the steps a little bit, okay. The link to the sales page all right now you want to repeat this on the upsell page as well because uh, this is going to be sold as an upsell and even as a potentially a, an initial sale as well so it's better to just repeat this uh sales page url on both of this and uh put the correct thank you page as well now i'm going to just leave this alone for example sake uh, and uh, there we go all right so we can pretty much leave the rest alone okay let's skip all of this let's leave it alone And uh, we're gonna head down to the order form and uh, change that change the picture. All right, so I've got this already because I uploaded it from before. So I'm gonna call it uh, fire sale packages for one low price. I think it's five. Yeah, five fire sale packages for one low price. So that's what it is. All right, you don't have to be too fancy with that and uh you can skip out on the rest you can pretty much leave the rest alone so i think you guys are getting the idea all right uh once you get the first product correct and uh you go through the motion you can pretty much copy and paste the same thing again and again and uh just duplicate it all right uh next up let's go to payment plans all right payment plans and uh yeah pretty much everything i don't know what says all is though all right now uh we're gonna add it down here now coincidentally this is also 97 dollars uh, for this particular offer so i'm not gonna actually change anything all right it's still 97 dollars for me all right i'm gonna i'm not gonna change it uh and let me go to conversion cockpits and uh yeah you know we don't have to change anything else here already at least for now right we can leave all of this alone you know add-ons deliver e-ticket variants uh notifications we're done, all right? We don't have to change any of that right now. So what we're gonna do again, I'm gonna get the link to the order form. I'm gonna just copy that. And uh, we're gonna add in the uh, buy button, all right? So let me just add it here in this uh, sales page, all right? For the one-time offer. So I'm recreating the uh, buy button over here. So just give me a moment, I'm gonna do it real quick, all right? Maybe I should just put 640. Now, you have to be stating the price clearly as well. Uh, I'll bring my purchase now uh, for $97. Okay, so you have to state the price clearly. It can't be just like very abstract, all right? And uh, let me change the color up a little bit. There we go. Actually, what font is this? Oh, it's Montserrat. Okay, let me just make sure that it's the same font. There we go. And uh, most importantly, don't forget to link it to the, uh, what you call the uh, order form, all right? So there we go. And uh, yes, how can I forget the uh, mandatory uh, cards? All right, there we go. I really hate this PayPal icon. <laughs> okay, that, that, that. 
and uh, looks good. All right, upgrade right now. Now, there's one thing I don't want to forget just yet, and that is, uh, you know, every time we go to an upsell page, uh, not everybody's going to buy this. In fact, most of the people are going to skip this offer, right? So when they skip this offer, they need to be uh, going to a no thanks link, all right? So over here, there is a, a no thanks link that you got to uh, use all the time. It's actually kind of a copy and paste, right? In fact, I'm just going to uh, show it to you and enlarge it a little bit to you, all right? It's basically dgstore24.com. Uh, forward slash answer forward slash no all right so uh, this is required uh, otherwise your customers will not be able to leave this page so they can either choose to buy this or skip this offer and go to the next page so this is really really important you need to have this uh, no thanks link which is again dgstore24.com forward slash answer forward slash no all right uh, I'm going to hyperlink that at the bottom, which I already did. I uh, don't open this in the new tab, by the way. We all put it all on, on the same page, all right? So let's just quickly preview it, all right? All right, so I'm going to stop this for a while. We are going to test all this in, in, in one go afterwards. So you notice that the uh, trust batch is still there. Uh, if I click on this, okay, it will go to and order form, which is massive five cell bundle, which is correct, $97. And uh, if I want to skip out on this, I'm going to put no thanks, all right? So right now, it's, it's an error at the moment because we haven't set anything else. So sounds about right. We just leave it alone right now, all right? And uh, yeah, that's, that's it for the uh, one-time offer one. Now, if you want to add a one-time offer two, one-time offer three onwards, it's pretty much the same thing, all right? It's pretty much the same thing. I'm, and in fact, you know, for completion's sake, I'm gonna show you how it's done uh, from scratch, all right? Okay, not exactly from scratch, but I'll do it all over again for you, okay? So I'm gonna add a second one-time offer, which I am gonna add anyway, all right? So I'm gonna make a copy of this product, and uh, let's see, what's this offer about? Oh, it's called Masterclass Bundle, got it. Masterclass Bundle. Uh, in fact, I'll take this opportunity to uh, show you another thing interesting about a payment plan, all right? You can also come up with a easy payment plan as well, okay? So I'm gonna call it Masterclass Bundle, which is my uh, one-time offer too. Okay, I'm gonna sk skip out on this again. And uh, this is basically a membership area. So that's what my, my, my uh, course is about, all right? Uh, I'm gonna skip out on the rest. I'll still pay 50% on this. And uh, sales page address is now OTO2, all right? So that's the new uh, one-time offer address. Excuse me on that. Okay. Again, I'm gonna skip out on the rest. I think you kind of get a drill, right? If you've been following me on this, you, you get a drill, all right? Let's save. The next part, we're gonna to go to the order form and uh, let's change the image. I think I've uploaded this before. Yeah, I did, all right? So I uploaded an image. I'm gonna call this uh, 10 Masterclass Courses for the price of one all right i might fix up the description a little bit afterwards but i'm just doing a quick one for you all right uh we're gonna skip out of the rest all the forms still the same and click save okay next up payment plans all right so i want to show you something different this time around so this is an offer that i'm going to be selling at 297 dollars i'm going to click on edit I want to just add a two here, so it's two nine seven dollars. All right, so I'm gonna click update payment plan. Now here's a question though: uh, What if I want to offer an installment plan, or like uh, you know ninety nine times three months or something like that? So here's what I'm gonna do. All right, I'm gonna click on this link over here called Add Payment Plan. All right, so something's gonna change a little bit. Okay, Add Payment Plan. Um, first payment. Uh, let's see. Let me just experiment a little bit. How about ninety nine dollars? All right. Um, oh well, as you can see, it can be a subscription, it can be like a, a two-part payment plan or even three-part for the matter. So uh, follow-up is like, what are you gonna pay like the second month and the third month? So I'm gonna put 99, and the sum works up to like 297. Okay, uh, normally I like to bump it up a little bit, something like, uh, I don't know, what, what about 119? Okay, 119. Okay, I think this, this could actually work out. Um, just, yeah, I'm always experimenting as well. Okay, maybe I'll just put 119 and let's see what happens. Okay, 119. So usually when you do an installment plan, you wanna make it a little bit higher, uh, like maybe like by 20% than the uh, the full price. And this kind of incentivize people to, hey, if you pay the full price, you can save out a little bit more. Okay, so this is kind of like my thinking when I when it comes to doing this kind of thing. Oh, actually I should change this up a little bit as well. Okay, 357, or what if it's 109? 
it's not exactly a sexy number. Hmm. Okay, I tell you what, I'm just gonna put $99 right now just to keep the math a little bit easy, but I might change my mind about this afterwards. But you guys get the idea, right? When you do installment plans, uh, you wanna make sure that uh, it's like 20% a little bit mark up, all right? So right now, I just wanna keep things simple. I'm just gonna put $99 times three at the moment. Uh, I might change my mind afterwards because uh, I don't wanna think too much about this right now, all right? So can buy a cancel payment plans? Uh, well, people like to put no, but uh, I foresee some legal trouble if I force them to pay something that they don't want to pay anymore. I'm just going to leave it as yes right now. Uh, but for me, because I'm selling a digital product, if they don't complete their payment, I just stop their membership access. Simple as that, all right? Uh, I just don't want to get myself into like, any like legal trouble with any customers who may like, you know, maybe they changed their mind, they got a bias rewards and uh, they got unhappy with me for whatever the reason. I don't want to make it any worse for them. So can they choose to cancel it? I'll give them the choice, all right? And for me, I'll just discontinue, all right? As for the rest, I'm going to leave all of this alone. Um, okay, now, what does order mean, all right? So just now I put order 10, I'm just going to put 11. I'm, I'm making it up right now. Uh, this matters because of the placement of the uh, uh, payment plan, which I'm going to show you afterwards, right? I'm going to click add payment plan. And uh, right now we have uh, 297 and $99 dollars times three, all right? Which I'm on two minds about it. I might change that price afterwards. So what's gonna happen is that later when you see the order form, they're gonna see 297 first and then an option of installment plan, all right? So yeah, the arrangement does matter uh, for conversions, all right? Next up, uh, we'll go to conversion cockpits, which actually we don't have to do anything here already. I think we are we pretty much uh, covered it all. So this, 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 and uh, all of this, uh, we're good to go, all right? So, yay, we've already created our front end offer. We've created the uh, one-time offer one. We've also created the one-time offer two, okay? So, when we go back here, oops, I think I forgot, all right? We haven't added the buy button or the buy link just yet. So, yeah, that's kind of why, you know, why I created that notepad and I wrote those uh, items in advance so to keep me in track all right so you know when you're doing this for the first time uh, I do recommend that you do like uh, save some parts of this video like kind of like I'll, I'll do my best to put a timestamp okay uh, if, when this video is being edited I'll, I'll put a timestamp all right so that you kind of know where so let's go to links and uh, again link to the order form let's use that now I'm just I'm kind of lazy right now so what I'm gonna do is that I'm just gonna copy and paste this uh, link all right this button okay I'm gonna change this to this link that's now uh, get instant access only 297 and uh, maybe I should add a subtext as well all right or three easy payments times 99 yeah that could work all right yeah, so there we go. Okay, so again, remember the um, why not? I've been seeing it like a parrot. Uh, Digistore 24 doesn't like this kind of like price slashing, so I'm gonna remove that. Uh, in fact, I might have some reservations, they might not like this even. So, uh, I'm, again, I'll, I'll fine tune my sales letter afterwards, but you guys get the idea. Okay, so if you're submitting sales letters and uh, it's being rejected uh, these are some of the, the normal corporates most of the time all right just so i'm giving you a heads up so you might want to take some time to like uh rephrase some of the choice of words that you have on your sales letter especially when it comes to like price slashing and income claims all right and uh don't forget no thanks uh, make sure to put in this particular address digistore24.com forward slash answer forward slash no all right and uh we're good to go all right so let me go and check out this uh, OTO2 preview and uh, let's go and click on the uh, buy button and let's see what happens, all right? Now, here's what's interesting, okay? <coughs> this is unlike what we have seen just now. Now we've got a default 297 USD, but we've also got an easy payment plan option. So if I check this, Guess what? It now changes into a, like a three installment plan. So you know, sometimes when you offer installment plans, uh, you might be able to capture some uh, extra sales that you would have otherwise lost. All right. So if you're doing anything that's a little bit like middle ticket, high ticket, uh, installment plans will really, really help uh, increase your conversions and save otherwise lost sales. All right. So uh, at this juncture, we have already created our uh, 
uh, front end offer, old tier one and old tier two. Now there's one thing we have not done just yet, and that is how do we structure the upsell? All right, that means uh, we need to create the logic. Okay, after the person buys front end offer, uh, they get to see the old tier one, and then uh, whether they buy or don't buy, they get to see old tier two. How do we do that? All right. So for this to work, what we're going to do is that we're going to go back to account. Let's go back to products, and then uh, let's go check out. Uh, events again all right so right now we have a total of four products two final offer uh, because they have, they have different tickets and uh, two different OTOs as well all right so let's start with a business ticket here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on these three dots here and I'm gonna go to uh, conversion cockpit I don't know why they call it you know I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of a DT dirty right now you know and they use the word CC you know cock car so. <laughs> all right so okay uh, let's not change the topic here all right so this is what I call the, the initial sale. Um, that's a front end offer, the DBW business ticket. So after they buy this, where do they go to next? All right, so let's click on upsell and uh, let's choose uh, the product that we created. All right, so the next one is gonna be, uh, in my case, massive fire sale bundle. That's my old tier one. Let's click save and there we go. All right, so this is gonna be the first upsell that people are gonna see, all right? And uh, if people buy this, then I still wanna show them my old tier two. Okay, in this case, it's this uh, masterclass bundle, all right? Now, just a quick heads up about uh, upsells or, or what I call a product staircase. It should be going upwards like a staircase, all right? So when you price your uh, upsells, it shouldn't be, you know, like you do $17, $7, and then it goes up and goes down, goes up and goes down. It shouldn't be that way. It should be going like incremental, all right? So this is why it goes from like $17, 97 297 It should always be going upwards, all right? Now, if people don't buy this old tier one, I still want to show them, all right? I still want to show them old tier two, so I'm going to repeat it again, all right? Click on uh, did not buy, add upsell. I'm going to repeat it one more time. Masterclass bundle. There we go, okay? So, uh, yeah, that, that's it for, for this part, all right? But uh, what I'm going to do is that we're still not quite done just yet, all right? Because if you remember, I have basically two types of front end offer. And if people buy the business ticket, they'll see the rest of the upsells. But if anyone bought my other ticket called the presidential ticket, they're not gonna be able to see it, all right? So we need to do the same thing for the other front end offer. And let's go for that, all right? Let's go to conversion cockpit for the second ticket. Okay, at upsell. Yeah, I wanna skip, uh, like speed up this part because you guys kind of know it already. I, I believe you're watching this right now, you're, you're smart, all right? Let's go for it. Okay, cool. Uh, if they bought this, they'll see one time offer one. And uh, if they buy this, then they'll see one time offer two, which is uh, this one. And uh, even if they don't buy OTO one, I'll still want to show them OTO two, all right? Now, if you have any downsells, it's pretty much the same logic, all right? Let's go to Masterclass Bundle, and there we go. All right, so far, so good, okay? Uh, okay, so what we're gonna do next is even though it, I could pretty much add it here, but I want to just like, uh, how I say, uh, for extra measure, I'm going to go to OT01, which is the massive fire sale bundle. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to go to conversion cockpit, and I'm going to add one more upsell here, all right, which is the final one, uh, masterclass bundle. Okay, what? why am I doing this? Because sometimes there will be some people who buy your front end offer and... Uh, check out this one-time offer and then they don't buy it, but they might buy it later. Some people are like that, you know? Yeah, I know sometimes it's kind of ironic, we call it a one-time offer, but, you know, people still come back and buy it later somehow. And uh, that, that's an off chance. That, that tends to happen every now and then, okay? So whenever people come back to buy this uh, uh, upsell afterwards, you still want to show them the rest of what you have to offer. So this is kind of why, for extra measure, I'm just going to add this over here. So if they buy this later, they can still see the one-time offer too, all right? now. When it comes to the final upsell, which is a masterclass bundle, I don't have to do that anymore because that is truly the last offer, okay? So as far as doing all this goes, we're pretty much done here already. We have already created the uh, front end offer, OTO1, OTO2, and we even created the, uh, what I call the, uh, the funnel structure, all right? Now, uh, at this point, it will be quite tempting to just go and test purchase right now, but I don't want to do that just yet because um, there's one more step I want to add in is that is uh, the, integration of your autoresponder. And uh, I believe the reason we are doing all this like funnels and all that is because we wanna collect our customer data, all right? We wanna add them to our email list. So you know what, I wanna get that out of the way, all right? So what we're gonna do right now is that we're gonna integrate our autoresponder 
And uh, yeah, you know what? Let's not talk about it. Let's actually do it. Okay. So at the top right, go to settings and uh, go to this thing called integrations or IPN in, in bracket. All right. So I use Aweber, by the way, and I'm just adding a connection. You know what? I'm kind of feeling a little bit lazy. Okay, never mind. Oh, well, let's click add new connection. So uh, one of the bad things about doing this particular integration is that for every product, you gotta like keep adding Aweber again or any of this like autoresponder whatsoever. So it can get a little bit repetitive if you have like more products, all right? Uh, so this is the part where I have to say that JVZ and Word Plus are a little bit better, but that it is just what it is, all right? So since I use Aweber as my autoresponder, I'm gonna click on that. Okay, so over here, you gotta follow the instructions, right? That means you gotta log into your Aweber account and get the uh, authorization code, all right? Uh, actually, I just copied that just now uh, from one of my existing products because I don't like log in and do the whole thing again. I'm just gonna copy and paste it down here, all right? Now, but you gotta do the whole process uh, on your part. That means log into your Aweber account, uh, get the authorization code, and you gotta copy to that click box down here at the bottom, all right? Uh, I'm taking the shortcut right now because I already have it. So next one, connection Aweber, you can give it a name. Um, it's up to you, by the way, but normally I like to name it after my uh, the name of my email list uh, that I have in my account. So what is it called again? Um, oh yeah, webinar DBW uh, pay. All right, so that's the name of my thing. So uh, for which product? So right now we have created uh, a couple of products here. And I'm gonna select this two because this two are the front end offer. So in this case, I want it to be so that uh, whenever someone buys like either one of these tickets, they're gonna opt into my autoresponder and start receiving emails from me. So this is what I want, all right? So I'm gonna choose any of this. So if they buy any of these tickets, they will opt into my Aweber account. Now for add-ons, um, I'm just gonna put, I'm gonna put yes. Yeah. So if any of them buys your bum offer and your bum offer, then you can put it, okay? But uh, I'm gonna leave it as yes. Uh, leave all of this alone. In fact, order by customers, this is kind of good enough already. Uh, for order event, I'm just gonna leave all of this alone as well. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna just leave all of this alone. You don't have to do anything, all right? I'm gonna click test connection. We're not done yet, not done yet. Okay, T test connection, okay. And if it works, everything should be appearing fine. But what you need to do right now is that you need to choose the uh, list, all right? Let me see, is it done correctly? Yeah, it should be done correctly. Just give me a moment. Okay, I can't avoid it. I need to do a proper one. Okay, fine. Okay, looks like I can't avoid that. Yeah, it's always different. <laughs> okay, I'll click test connection. All right, so we can choose the email list. So yeah, I've created a bunch of email lists in my autoresponder account on AWeb. I'm gonna choose the right one, which is, yeah, this one in this case, all right? So again, make sure that you've already created your autoresponder list. Uh, in my case, I definitely did it already, and I'll click Save, and uh, I'm done. So anyone buys any of my front-end offer, they will opt into my email list because I'm always collecting my, my customers' uh, uh, details, all right? So as far as the... Uh, Autoresponder goes, we are done. Uh, we have also uh, done this already. So well, quite close, all right? The next thing we're gonna do uh, is step number 10. We're gonna do a test purchase, all right? So I wanna show you, I mean, we're pretty much built leading up to this whole moment, all right? We're gonna uh, do a test purchase right about now, all right? So how do we do that? Let's go check it out, okay? So I'm gonna go to my um, front end offer. Let's go to... Uh, Okay, it doesn't matter. Okay, I'm going back to products. I'm going back to events. I'm gonna choose one of the, the front end offer, okay? Uh, if you wanna get a quick link, you can just click on the three dots, go to promo link, and uh, get the link to the order form. So what we're gonna do right now is that we are going to test purchase, all right? Um, starting from the front end, okay? So what we're gonna do is that I'm gonna choose test pay over here, which you don't need to prepare anything, all right? You can put your own name, uh, I will put my own email as well, so make sure that everything is uh, fine. My country, Malaysia. All right, and click on test payment, all right? Doesn't cost me anything, okay? If you do it right, you should be seeing your one-time offer. 
So it's correct. Okay. So next up, uh, let's just say I'm going to skip the uh, one time offer. Okay, that was not uh, what, what I intended. <laughs> I, that's something I did. Okay. Now, sometimes if you encounter an error like that, it could be that uh, we didn't put in the uh, what you call the, the trust batch. That could be one of the reasons why. So sometimes, uh, or, or the uh, upsell uh, script, all right, upsell script. So sometimes if you see like the thing doesn't quite work out, that could be the reason. All right, so you might notice that video was cut a little bit because it took me quite a while to realize that I missed out one more step. <sighs> now you know why I made this video, right? So before you do a test purchase, there's one more thing we gotta do is that um, if you're using WordPress like me, you have to install a WordPress uh, plugin or yeah. WordPress plugin, that's what, what it is here. Let me just type that out a little bit. And uh, we gotta install that. Now, again, I'm not sure whether how this is gonna work if you're using perhaps um, ClickFunnels or something like that. But if you're using WordPress like me, here's what you're gonna do, all right? You go to settings, uh, go check out Pro Pixel for sales page, all right? And uh, what you're gonna do is that you can select the product associated with your sales page. I'm gonna just choose uh, the business ticket, all right? Okay, so perhaps if you're using ClickFunnels and all that, you can paste this uh, script. But if you're using WordPress like me, what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on Download WordPress Plugin and you're gonna install that, all right? So you click this to download and then in your WordPress, you will click on uh, Add New, um, Upload Plugin, let's choose a file, which is this Digistore24 and then we're gonna activate it, which is exactly what I just did, all right? And uh, that's all you gotta do, all right? All you gotta do is just uh, activate that plugin and here we go. You don't have to do any editing on it whatsoever. You can just pretty much leave it alone. So what we're gonna do right now is that finally, we'll go on to the test purchase, all right? Which is what failed just now. So again, you know the importance of doing test purchase. And uh, let's go to, uh, again, accounts, products, we're gonna start off with the front end offer again, all right? Digital business ticket, click on uh, promo link, <clears throat> link to order form, let's go, go check it out right away, all right? So it seems I bought it before, so I'm gonna buy it one more time, all right? Let's try it one more time. So this is the part where we last left off, we were at a one-time offer one. And uh, let's just say we don't want to buy this offer, okay? We want to skip it, all right? So how do you know that this page works is that when you look at the bottom of your browser, like whether it's Brave, uh, Safari, whatever, you're going to see that there's like uh, some kind of like appended extra characters, okay? Let's click on it. And uh, this should take us to the second one-time offer, all right? Which sounds about right, okay? and. Uh, Let's just say we don't want to buy this as well, okay? Let's see what happens. I don't want to buy this. Okay, I want to open this as a new, a new, uh, what you call, a new tab. Okay, there we go. And there we go. So we know that this funnel actually works, okay? Because uh, we have bought a friend an offer and we got all the way to the last thank you page. And this was the page I was talking about at the near start of this video, all right? So uh, I can check my email address afterwards to see whether I got the, the download access, which I did, uh, it works. But now let's just play around a little bit, okay? Let's just say, I wanna buy this offer as well, okay? This is what I call the second one-time offer, and I, I choose to buy it, all right? So I click on it, and uh, well, it, whichever one, let's just say I go for the installment plan, just to keep it a little bit more uh, very interesting, all right? Come on, click demo. All right, okay, click test pay. And uh, let's test payment and see what happens, all right? Now, this should take me to the default time thank you page, all right? Uh, sounds about right, this is the one I just like made up, so it works, all right? There we go. So now that we know that the whole uh, funnel works, what we're gonna do is that, uh, let's go back to account, go back to products, and what we're gonna do now is Okay, we have done the test purchase. We're gonna finally request approval, all right? So you gotta see that what's interesting is that you have DS, DE, US, and UK. Now, in my experience, and I do not know why, I can get approved for US and UK, but I have never once got approved for DE. I do not know why, 
All right, so it can get approved for the US and UK marketplace, but you just never get approved for DE, even though it's the same offer. Okay, so um, maybe you can let me know how you tried it and how's your luck, but right now I'm just gonna apply with uh, UK and US. Now I'm just gonna click on this one first, all right, with UK. So uh, if you're doing this for the first time, you're gonna see that all these boxes are actually unchecked. All right, I'm gonna uncheck all of them first. And uh, they want you to go through this checklist and make sure that everything is basically done, all right? So. Let's read it. You have made a test purchase and that's exactly what we did, all right? The sales page contains no links leading to another payment processor outside of Digistore24. Now, this is what got me into uh, a little bit of trouble back then because a lot of my pages were uh, linked up with like Stripe, Jamie Zoo. So that was also one of the things that, you know, it just uh, gave me a headache. But if you are on a brand new website, not linked to any other payment processor, then this should be no issue to you, okay? Um, that's also kind of why I built it on this particular domain name because it's like kind of like free from the other like uh, payment processors. They don't want any competitors, all right? Uh, the sales page is freely accessible. Okay, that's quite obvious. Uh, the product or service is described completely, accurately, and full detail. Okay, that's correct. Uh, the return policy. Um, oh, it says here it can be 14, 30, 60 days. Okay, uh, let me tell you upfront, despite them, what they wrote here. Uh, they told me that it's got to be 60 days and above so i don't think this is quite trustworthy to be very frank it's got to be 60 days and above i mean if it was 30 days i wouldn't have uh, struggled that much all right so i'm letting you know up front despite what's written here it's got to be 60 days and above okay uh unless they change something which i kind of doubt it all right now in the case of upsells okay yes uh the yes i don't want and all that's all uh, pretty much there okay that's all correct. Uh, the thank you page has referred to uh, a charge from Digistore24. I told you about that already. So yes, uh, your customer is being informed. Yes. All right. Uh, download button is included. Uh, the site is freely accessible. It's not password protected and uh, not infringing on any like terms and conditions. So again, uh, this why this checklist is important. And uh, you just want to make sure that you've gone through all of them. All right. So I'm going to click accept. And... Uh, we we'll just wait, all right? So they typically get back in like the next like one to two working days, sometimes three, that depends. They don't work on weekends. And what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna request for all of them. I mean, after all, we just did a test together, okay? Uh, I'm gonna click uh, request approval on every one of them. Uh, except for DE, I mean, I, I don't need DE. Whoops, I don't wanna withdraw. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oops, there we go. Let's go. And let's go. All right. Ah, we already requested approval. And all we've got to do right now is just wait. Okay. Um, next one to two, maybe three working days. And uh, if there's anything that uh, they're not happy with whatsoever, what they're going to do is that they'll reply. They'll say that uh, we're having trouble approving this product. Uh, there's some changes that we need you to do on your sales page or your thank you page or whatever. All right. Or maybe sometimes they just want to seek some clarity from you for that for the matter. All right. Um, but I hope that with what I've shared with you so far, I think it's been a rather long video at, at the moment. Uh, it will help you with your approval process. At least not much of a headache. But if you're doing it for the first time, uh, do expect a little bit of like, you know, back and forth. All right. But... Uh, I don't think you should be taking it as long as me uh, because I have no one to guide me. A lot of things were done in a very, how I'd say, uh, try and error kind of basis. And their knowledge base doesn't really help to be very right, frank. It's quite uh, written like a textbook. So that's kind of why I was compelled to do this video. And I I think that this video wouldn't be complete if not for uh, the mention of how do we get affiliates, all right? Uh, when they, they want to request approval and all that. So let me just put the numbering a little bit correct here. So there's a total of... Uh, add a third plugin. Okay, sorry, it's actually gonna be 13 steps. We did a plugin just now, right? It's a total of 13 steps, all right? So do excuse me on that, it's actually 13 steps. How do we uh, invite affiliates? Now, let's just assume that at this point, uh, all these products are not only approved, it's ready to sell. And uh, we wanna start getting affiliates. So what affiliates need to do to uh, be able to get the affiliate link and all that is by going to a very specific link that you give them. So what do I mean by that, all right? so. Uh, let's just say I'm recruiting affiliates right now. I will go with this. All right, I'll go DBW business ticket. I'm gonna go to promo link and affiliate invitation. And uh, you can see there's this promo link over here, uh, but we're not gonna use that. And uh, right now, we're gonna select the products that the affiliate can uh, get paid on, on, the, on the, what you call, uh, the entire funnel. So in this case, 
it's going to be everything under the events I just created. So it's going to be business ticket, presidential, uh, massive Pfizer bundle, and masterclass bundle. So you can see that this link has been like uh, added up a little bit. I'm going to select this and uh, let's go check it out. All right. So this is the link I'm going to give to my affiliates if they want to promote my product. So for a start, they have to log in or they have to create their, their account for a start. So let's just say uh, they come in and, and create. I'm not going to actually do it right now. They're going to create the account and then uh, they can be approved to promote this uh, product and they'll get paid on everything that I've just mentioned. All right. So that's basically how it is. And uh, if you're curious to know how it looks like for the affiliate site, uh, let me just show you in the vendors one. Okay. Account affiliates. Now I have another account that I use more like a test test affiliate just to see how it goes. So I kind of like, you know, request to promote my own product and you can see that uh, I approve my, my other account. So affiliate status approved or it can be denied. Uh, how much affiliate commission the person is going to be paid. Okay. You can put 50% or you can even like customize. Okay. You can like choose to edit it uh, anyhow you want. You might have some favoritism. Some affiliates get paid a little bit higher. They can do that. And once they're approved, they will get their uh, promotion link. Okay. So, uh, whoo. That's uh, quite a video that I did at length. I hope you guys um, do enjoy uh, watching this as much as I have been doing this as well. And uh, if you got any questions, uh, perhaps you can just leave the comments uh, right below. Now, uh, if I haven't said this just yet, I do not work for Digistore24. I'm not their support staff whatsoever. I'm just an online business owner. I sell digital products just like maybe some of you guys who are watching this right now, okay? Uh, by me sharing this video with you guys, I'm doing it from a position of uh, just another fellow business owner, just another fellow internet marketer uh, sh showing you uh, what I've discovered in uh, the last one and a half months, all right? And hopefully this saves you a lot of trouble uh, and not go through the same kind of, uh, you know, ping-ponging that I've gone through myself and I hope this helps you guys, all right? And again, one last time, uh, if you found this video very helpful, don't forget to hit the like button uh, and subscribe as well. I think it'll help my channel quite a bit as well, all right? Uh, I'm not a serious YouTuber, at least as of the time of this video, but uh, it's just nice to see uh, my work getting appreciated. I think that would be really helpful. Okay, so with that said, uh, my name is Edmund, um, and here's more to your marketing success, and you take care.